What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. So I just wanted to bring you a quick video. Um, unfortunately, I'm barely catching it at the end. But you guys can check out Monster finishing off his shed here. So it's actually a perfect shed, which he pretty much does every time. Um, as you can see, he's coming out of it perfectly right there. He's just near the end now. As soon as he comes out of it, I'll go ahead and uh, unroll it. And I'll get you guys a good picture of his skin there. As you can see, he's looking at us. He's probably not too happy about being flashed at with the light, so hopefully he doesn't ruin that skin for me. Because that's where it looks to be heading. Darn. Alright, so. Yeah, I think he's going to rip it. Urgh. All right, let me try and get in there. And, uh... No, he's going to tear it before I get in. Oh, damn, this case. All right, let me put you guys down for a sec. Ugh. All right, so a little bit agitated because I'm messing with his skin, but I think he's pretty much come out of it. Now I just got to wait for him to get off of it. I don't think that's going to happen because he's right there and he's kind of upset. But if I know my boy, he is touchy when he sheds, so that's just the way he is. He's never struck at me, though. Thank God. And uh, hopefully the day will never come. But let's see if I can try to pull a little more on this and get it out of there. Mm. I don't think he's budging on this one. Okay, so our little girl's coming along for a ride here. Oh, okay. Oh. Let me just come over here real quick. And as you can see, <laughs> she came out with us. Sorry to disturb you there. So that's our little girl here. I'll go ahead and put her back in there. Go up on your tray, sweetie. There you go. All right, so he's almost fully out. Now he's pissed because I'm messing with him, but that's okay. He'll get over it. He's not one to hold grudges, so. Let's just wait till he's done here, and I'll move him, and I'll take that skin from him. Let me see if you can see any of his iridescence. Yep, perfect. As you can see what happens when he comes out of shed, he's incredibly iridescent, which is awesome. And that's one of the main reasons since he's been a baby, he literally outshines the rainbow bow I had sometimes. And that is the main reason why I kept him. And ever since then, this little guy's grown on me. So yeah. I'm try and give you another better look at that iridescence again. There you go. So you got a nice good flash of his iridescence and he's almost out of that shed. So give him maybe another minute or two and he should be out of it by now. And as you can see I have it there so it hasn't torn yet thankfully. And hopefully it won't. Let's see here. As you can see what happens, he usually rolls this thing up, so I have to unroll it. Doesn't look at all nice, but give me a sec while I unroll this thing for you guys. Now when you unroll the skin, it has to be really carefully done. Um, 
Let me see if I can position this so you guys can see me do it. Okay. So there's the skin. Now please don't leave any weird jokes or comments. I know what it looks like. Don't say it. We do have kids that watch these, so... Let's try to keep it clean, guys. <laughs> Anyways... And it's unrolling perfectly, as usual. And he's just staring at my hands. Now, when you do this also, be prepared for that liquid that sticks between their new skin and their old skin. And it feels kind of weird. But it's more damp than wet, so. And if your snakes are shedding properly, which hopefully each and every one of yours is, you should be getting perfect sheds like this all the time, so. Um, very rarely should you have to assist your snakes, unless, of course, your climate is different. But in Finn, that's the case. No big deal. I have some buddies out there um, who have really great videos on assisting your snakes in shed. Let's check those out. So I'm almost done unrolling this one here. And perfect, we got his eye caps I think also. Yep. We got the skin unrolled perfectly with eye caps and everything, as you can see there. Haha. <laughs> eye caps and lower jaw. So, once again, a perfect shed from a boy. And it's really long, as you can see. Now I'll just lay that over the side and wait for a second. Now also, when you do this with these, make sure you hang them somewhere lengthwise so they can dry well, because once it dries up, it will be crispy. And if you let it dry like this and try to straighten it out, it'll crack and break, and vice versa. If you lay it straight and you try to fold it, it will crack and break. So if you want to preserve your snake skin, make sure that you hang it and dry it in the fashion that you want it to be dried because it will become crispy and it will not be um, very friendly to uh, being bent. <clears throat> now let me pick you guys back up here. A monster has decided to stop right where he is because I've been messing with him. And if I know him, he will stay like that forever until I stop. But he knows me, and he knows that I won't wait. I will wait forever for that skin. But I don't think I'm going to make you guys wait forever, so let's try to make him hurry up. And I know he's not going to like this, but too bad. All right, buddy. Come on out of the skin. Give me the skin. Yes. All right. So he cooperated with us. And there's the rest of the skin. Awesome. Now the great thing about Mon is a lot of snakes will poop in their skin. And he rarely ever does. So. Let me just go ahead and remove something off the wall for a sec, and I'm going to go ahead and hang this up. And then I'll show you guys the length ratio to my door. So, shorts are falling, but sorry about that. Alright. So now that we got that hung up, you can see the skin. It's about... Let's see, one and maybe, 
a little under two sandals from the floor, so that's about mm, two feet there. But if you see the door, that is how high up he goes. Pretty long there. I think he's well over four and a half feet now. I'm going to measure that, and then uh, I'll give you guys an update on how long he really is now. So that's Monsters Shed Skin, and you can see that's the belly, but if you look on the back part, you can see his patterning comes out really cool there, and even some of the iridescence stays on the old skin, so that's really awesome. And yeah, hopefully you guys have plenty of sheds like these. Um, this is what a perfect snake skin shed looks like. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Once again, this is Frank. Sorry for the messed up hair. Been cleaning poop all day, so uh, yeah. See you guys uh, later on. Bye bye.